Welcome back to Zolder in Belgium for the final races of the 2019 NASCAR Whelan Euro Series. Both the Elite One and the Elite Two Championships are still up for grabs and the crowds who flocked here in their thousands are looking forward to some wheel-to-wheel -wheel action, some pure racing. There are two divisions in the NASCAR Wheel and Euro Series. Points count double as it's the final championship weekend. Loris Hazemans leads the pro drivers in Elite One, and Giorgio Maggi leads the young and the amateur drivers in Elite Two. We're on the four kilometer, 2.5 mile Zolder circuit. It's the road course, of course, 16 turns for the drivers to try and get used to. Yesterday's race, it was the number 66 Dexweck DF1 Chevrolet of Lassie Sorensen that went to victory lane for the sixth time in the 2019 season. The Elite Two drivers will be racing around this four kilometre, two and a half mile circuit, over 15 laps to decide the championship title. Yesterday's race also saw Lassie Sorensen set the fastest lap. Therefore, he will start today's race from pole position. But his main championship rival, Giorgio Maggi, just one point ahead of him in the championship, starts on the outside of the front row of the grid. Alessandro Brugatti and Vittorio Garelli on row number two. Single file start because of the awful weather conditions we've got here in Belgium. Buckle up, we go green for the final time in Elite Two this year. The cars splash their way up towards turn number one and Lassie Sorensen leads the way from Giorgio Maggi in second position. It certainly looks as though Alessandro Brugatti has hung on to third place ahead of Vittorio Garelli who sits there in fourth position but in these tricky conditions with the spray flying up into the faces and the windshields of the cars behind. It is Lassie Sorensen that takes up the early lead in his final Elite Two race of the 2019 season. Out of turn number four, down the short straight that brings them up towards the cleaner chicane at turns number five and turn number six. Everybody having to watch out for the standing water and the little streams that flow from one side of the circuit to the other in certain places, leaping over the curbs but not taking too much in these tricky conditions. Sorensen leads the race. Giorgio Maggi in second position. Brigatti still there in third place. In fifth place, all through the gravel at the field of chicane. That's Justin Coots who should be able to get the second of the two deck sweat Chevys back onto the track. We ride on board with Nave Tala fighting away with Michael Bleaky Molen. Contact between the pair of them. Nave Tala gets spun around through 360 degrees and that will trap the car in the gravel trap and bring out the safety car. We get the race back underway and again it certainly looks as though Lassie Sorensen is just doing enough at the moment to keep his main championship rival Giorgio Maggi at bay. They come into this race separated by a single point. Well, it really means that whoever finishes ahead of the other is the Elite Two champion for this year, and at the moment, that is going the way of Lassie Sorensen. Sideways coming out of turn number four there, Lassie Sorensen having to blend the throttle in so carefully in his ever-worsening conditions here at Circuit Zolder, but for the moment, all of the drivers coping beautifully well as the circuit continues to change and evolve, not just lap by lap, but corner by corner. Over the brow of the hill at Sacrament Shelling goes the number 50 car of Giorgio Maggi. You can see the spray that's being thrown up by the race leader and champion Elector almost side by side that time through the Gilles Villeneuve chicane. For the moment, Sorensen still hanging on to the lead. Maggi firmly in the wheel tracks in the spray. Jinx out from behind. He's going to draw himself absolutely alongside. These two fighting it out for the championship. And remember, whoever gets ahead of who, whoever finishes ahead of who, will be the champion for this year of both of them as they have done all season going at it wheel to wheel up towards the final corner for the final lap of the season and they're side by side in towards the final corner Giorgio Maggi just with the nose ahead of Lassie Sorensen still side by side through the corner just across a little bit of the grass and the gravel there for both of them and it looks as though it is going to be Lassie Sorensen that has just done enough here potentially he's going to come over the start finish line to take the checkered flag and the championship in Elite 2 for 2019 Giorgio Maggi finishing in second position and it will be Alessandro Brigatti who only for the second time this year will head to the podium that completes the top three. So with some traditional donuts for celebration, Lassie Sorensen will lift the Elite Two Championship title for 2019 by just nine points in the end from Giorgio Maggi. Let's hear from the champion. It's obviously amazing to be here now. Uh... We fight it all season to get in, in the lead of the championship and uh, we did it in the last race possible. So I'm super happy for the whole team, thanks for DF1 racing. And uh, as well my sponsors back home cheering for me all the way. So delight for Lassie Sorensen as he stands on the top step of the podium. The celebrations for himself and the Deck Sweat DF1 team will carry on long into the night. The champagne sprays for the final Elite Two podium of the 2019 season.
Lassie Sorensen also came out on top in the Rookie Trophy classification. Ian Eric Varden claimed top honours in the Legend Trophy. And Ariana Cassidy took the Lady Trophy. 2019 was a record-breaking year for the NASCAR Wheeled Euro Series. An extended calendar saw us go to Most in the Czech Republic for the first ever time. And the crowds were bigger and better than ever before. The close racing in Elite 1 and Elite 2 certainly provided some of the entertainment, but there's so much entertainment off-circuit for the fans to enjoy as well. And despite the wet weather conditions, it didn't dampen the fans' enthusiasm or stop them getting the opportunity to get up close and personal to the cars and the stars of the NASCAR Wheel and Euro Series. We also took the opportunity to talk to Gene Stefanician, who is Senior Vice President and Chief International Officer for NASCAR, to talk about NASCAR and the European market. Well, we've been in Europe for, for many years now, and we also have activities in Mexico, Canada, and obviously the USA, and we're trying to enter other markets. So Europe has been very critical, that's very important, and uh, we're looking forward for another 10-year term here to continue to build the, the, the sport in NASCAR in Europe. So it's a very important part of our whole international footprint. So we're very happy to be here at Zolder for the final race, and I think it's gonna be a great weekend. Yesterday's Elite One race, it was the number 27 Cal Racing Ford of the Frenchman, Tom Ferrando, that came through to claim his first victory in the Elite One division of the NASCAR Wheel and Euro Series. The Elite One drivers will fight it out for 18 laps around this four kilometer or two and a half mile circuit. Remember, it's the fastest laps from yesterday's race that give us the grid for today. So it's the number 32 Go Fast Racing Chevrolet of Jacques Villeneuve that starts from pole position. His first visit to Zolder at the circuit that claimed his father's life in 1982. Alan Day is alongside him. It's a single foul start because of the awful weather conditions that we've got. Buckle up, we're about to go green for the final time. The green flag flies already, there's contact. That is Sebastian Bleaky Molen and Dylan Dedale that have got together before they even got to the start line. That could well bring about a safety Car, but Jacques Villeneuve leads Alan Day in second place and Stinis Longin all the way around the outside for Loris Hazemans, the champion elect. Though all he really needs to do is complete this first lap of racing to claim the crown for this year. We ride on board with Alan Day picking up on the spray from Stinis Longin, who's now going for the lead of the race. He's looking up the inside of Jacques Villeneuve, doesn't quite make it stick. They slide their way out of turn number four, and Alan Day now attacking Stinis Longin as they head down the straight and up towards turn number five. The outgoing champion dives at the inside of Jacques Villeneuve as well and picks up the lead of the race. Villeneuve down to second, Alex Sedgwick up into third but bounces over the kerbs, gets a slower exit coming out of turn five and turn six, which means that Stinis Longin is alongside and Mark Goosens is trying to follow them through as well. Alan Day splashes his way out of the Gilles Villeneuve chicane. Jacques Villeneuve still hanging on to second place as Alan Day looks to try and make a break for it. Stinis Longin, you can see the lack of visibility they have, but he's drawing himself alongside Jacques Villeneuve. That's the outside line up towards turn number 12, and he's made it stick by the look of things. The PK Car Sport number 24 car through into second position. Jacques Villeneuve down into third. Mark Goosen's in fourth. And it's going to be Alex Sedgwick, who's suffering from a virus this weekend and isn't feeling particularly well, that sits there in fifth place. But he's under pressure from that car there. Number 50, Loris Hazemans, who has now completed the first lap of the race, has picked up the championship points that he needs. He will be the champion in Elite One for 2019, regardless of what goes on from here on in. Stinis Longjean now attacking for the lead of the race. He's so confident on the brakes, heading up in towards turn number one. You can see the standing water opposite lock midway through the corner as he tries to keep the tail end of the PK Car Sport number 24 Chevy in check and as they head then out of turn number four and down the straight in towards the braking area for turn five and turn six Alan Day 20 times a race winner in the Elite One division is under pressure from Stinis Longjean a former Elite Two champion who's yet to win in Elite One he's had six second places so far this year but at his home NASCAR Grand Prix he's now looking for the lead of the race as we go on board with Alan Day Stinis Longjean able to work his way through and past, has the inside line for the next corner. So Stinis Longjean now looking to try and make a break for it. He was denied two victories here 12 months ago from Alan Day when Alan Day took back to back victories, but already since taking the lead, Stinis Longjean is now disappearing up the road. You can see the standing water still, but Stinis Longjean seems to be coping with it at a circuit he knows well. Jacques Villeneuve still in third place, fourth place is Mark Goosens, fifth is going to be the car of Alex Sedgwick and there is car number 50 Loris Hazemans driving with his head this weekend he'd had four back-to-back -back wins prior to coming into this weekend but it's the championship points he's been thinking about 
Alexander Graf is under pressure from number 88, Romain Inietta, who had to start from the pit lane as a result of the incident yesterday. He was deemed to be the culprit, and Alexander Graf has now lost a place to the Frenchman. Worsening conditions, though. You can see the car slithering around. There is no grip out there at all. Now, Stenis Longin pressing the accelerator pedal. The back end wants to come round instantly. Toma Ferrando is already in the gravel at turn number one, yesterday's race winner. But look at the amount of water that is on the circuit now. Time is running out for Alan Day. Stenis Longin heads in towards the final chicane here at Circuit Solder. He's going to head over the start-finish line and claim his first victory in the Elite One division. Congratulations to Stenis Longin. It's been a long time coming he can add that win to the nine that he took in elite two alan day comes through to finish in second position and mark goosens once more on his return to the championship will complete the podium alex sedgwick was the first of the junior trophy drivers home the challenger trophy was won by henry tuamala but the overall championship was secured by that man there loris hazemans at the wheel of the number 50 hendrix ford and hendrix will also pick up the team championship for 2019 the winning margin in the end 49 points from Stenis Longin, who finished second in the championship, just three points ahead of his teammate. Stenis Longin heads towards victory lane. Let's hear from the first time Elite One winner. Yeah, it's, a, it's an awesome feeling. I uh, can't describe it because uh, the last six laps, when it started raining, like one minute before, my, my uh, windscreen wiper stopped working. So it was, it was hell. I, I, yeah, it was an unbelievable drive, but crazy. So celebrations on the podium as Stenis Longin picks up his first win in the Elite One division of the NASCAR Wheel and Euro Series. However, for the overall championship podium, it's Loris Hazemans that's on the top and holding the championship trophy aloft. What a season we've had in 2019 in the NASCAR Wheel and Euro Series. Join us for more in 2020. Goodbye.